row can be performed with one or two kettlebells or dumbbells. If you have one, you'll do all your reps on one side and then switch to the other side. And if you have two, then you can alternate. I prefer this with kettlebells, but you can certainly use dumbbells. So I'll show you both. And then at the end, I'll also show you a way to modify if you are using dumbbells. Okay, start with your feet a little wider than your hips and the kettlebells or dumbbells in between your feet and slightly forward of you. Drive your hips back and bend your knees so that you can firmly grip the handles. Flatten your back, lift your chest. Keep your torso just slightly above the height of your hips. Press your weight into your heels and really drive your hips backward. From here, draw your shoulder blades down your back and engage your lats. Inhale and exhale, row the weight up and aim for just between your belly button and your hip. Slide your elbow past your waistline. You should feel your shoulder blades squeezing in and down your back. Release it down, inhale. And if you're using two, switch sides. Now, if picking them up from the floor is too low for you, you can always modify in a couple ways. For example, if you have access to say a six inch box at your gym, then you can position it like a diamond in front of you so that the weights can be just slightly elevated from where they'd be on the floor. And if you don't have access to that, you can always do it from this position where you never hit the floor. And for the amount that I'm lifting, that would be, it's a bit too much for me to alternate, but I can certainly do all my reps on one side and then switch to the other side from this position. Thank you.